Well, good morning, people of the Forbidden Land. I remember the date today. 22nd of April. And it's Wednesday. And it's my key worker day at work. Another glorious, beautiful morning to set off to work. So, over the weekend, we hit 1,000 subscribers on YouTube. Woohoo! Boom, shack a flip flop, as Trent would say. So, we'd just like to say a massive, massive thank you to everybody for your support and getting us there and a big thank you to all the motor rivers on our private Facebook group to you guys will help get us there all your support and your encouragement we couldn't have done it without you but yes we'd like to thank everybody we started the channel oh what was it now 19 months ago no I think we put our first video up our first tour to Aberystwyth. Smith I think it went up in I think it was in September so anyhow something like that but yeah so um, we're there 1000 subscribers it's funny because I put it up as soon as we got it I put the post up we got there and then literally within two hours we dropped six subscribers so we was back down to 994 but I know there's a few of these bot channels will come around and they they subscribe to you hoping you're going to subscribe to them um, but YouTube do pick up on these channels and obviously they just remove the subscriptions so but it didn't take us long to get back up we were soon up there but we've had a few people asking is it hard to do the channel and to get to a thousand subscribers now I wouldn't say it's hard work I would say it's a lot of work obviously you've got to constantly keep putting content up and footage but obviously in this lockdown it becomes very very difficult so I'm having to use days like this where I'm at work I'm a key worker I won't have to do my essentials purchase from the shops so I have to use those times at the moment to create some content you spend a lot of time answering messages on your Facebook Instagram things like that you spend a hell of a lot of time answering messages um, but I think it is nice I do like to try and reply to everybody who does leave a message you know they've took the time to comment and contact us so it's only right I found the time to reply you know even if the comments aren't always positive I still like to reply my boots still broke I'm now I'm, they just give up on the zip I now just accept cold air on my right foot it's a standard now so another little thing before I take you on our dream tour is I got accepted into the Google Earth Studio program. It's a bit like your normal Google Earth, but with this one, as you zoom in, basically you have a floating camera which acts a bit like a drone. And then what you can do, you can make short animated clip of a route or a particular area you're interested in so what I'll do now is a little animation I've done and what it does it shows you you've got your map 
on the left hand side and then on the right hand side you've got like the view of like what you would be watching and then down the bottom is your timeline and what you can do this little triangular object here on the left is that's your camera and your view so you can set its path where you're traveling and you can also set the altitude the tilt of the camera so basically you can you can have any angle you want and then along the bottom on the timeline here is where you've got like your nodes so at each like point you're saying what's going to happen is the camera going to move is it going to go higher lower is the tilt going to change so it's got a nice little thing nice to do on a few little um, routes we've done so it could come in handy that could and what it does you choose your frames per second and the duration of your clip so I've set it at 60 frames per second and I've set it at 9 seconds long so what happens when you've done this and you're happy with your video you render it but it doesn't produce a video for you what it does is it produces each frame as a JPEG so for this nine second video I've got 60 frames per second so I've got 60 JPEG images per second for nine seconds so I'll let you work out how many JPEG images that is and then what you have to do I have to import all these pictures into Final Cut Pro my software and stitch them all together which is not hard takes a few seconds and then obviously you play it but obviously the default setting is it's about it plays each JPEG about two seconds so obviously this animation is ridiculous so I have to speed it up to 16,000 percent just so it plays in real time but it's a nice little feature I like it you have to have a play with that going forward I think in the future and finally Finally, I manage to pick up my item from B&Q, which I put on the click and collect. So the click and collect took, it was six days, but seven days with me collecting it. Because I got the notification after the store closed, so I had to go down the next day. So seven days for a click and collect. So I managed to get my little part for my leaking bath, stop it leaking. And that was a very bizarre experience going to B&Q and not being able to go in the store so I'll put a little clip up now <laughs> of how you collect your items from B&Q so here I am at B&Q for my click and collect it only took six days so this is how it works let's turn this round can I turn it round so this is it you pull up outside your bike I give you a number and then I believe somebody comes to you that you can go in to buy some plants from the entrance but apart from that you stay where you are contact free collection point I'm just waiting for somebody to come and contact me freely You're not even allowed on the car park unless you've got a confirmation email that your click and collect is ready. So as you can see, all the cars are lined up in their points. Waiting for collection! I'd imagine they put it in the trolley and you get it. So, is anybody going to come and do me a collection point? Oh, I think she's... She's doing around. Well, she's just come and took my order, so she's going to bring it now, bring it to me here on the pallet, and I'll load it in the car. Boom, shaka, click and collect. We are done, we can get out of here. So 
I've got my plumbing part and I've also bought some creosote. I might as well do the fence while I'm here. At least I can stop the leak in the bathroom until I do the bathroom. See you, meat. So that was the collection from B&Q. Now the odd thing was, I ordered online, which took me an hour and 52 minutes. It takes me six days for them to notify me that I can collect my item. I go to collect my item. I have to pull into a parking bay with a number, which they show me which one to go to. I then wait for somebody to then come and ask me what my order is. And then they bring it in to me. Now, I don't know if you notice on any of the footage, but whilst doing this, the garden centre's open. To anybody. So what happened was, when I pulled up onto the car park, there was a member of staff there saying, are you here for a click and collect? I said, yes. He says, have you had email confirmation? I said, yes. He said, have you had email confirmation? It is ready to collect. I said, yes. Showed him the email. He says, fine, you can go through and park. But while I was parking... I noticed people just walking in and out with flowers and plants. Oh, I know you can't probably click and collect a plant online, but if I can't have a plumbing pipe, how do these people get to have plants? Every single day. I've had to fill the pool up for the kids, but obviously they don't want cold water in it. So I'm having to run the hose pipe through the bathroom window, off the taps, so they can have some hot water in the pool, so it's nice and warm. So we made our little invention with Trent. We made him a snorkel out of a bit of hose pipe. Um, but I got him a new mask yesterday. Uh, one of these snorkeling masks, it's absolutely brilliant idea. I had to go with it. It's absolutely amazing to be able to breathe in this mask underwater, so... I'll pull a little clip of here of little Trenty with his new diving mask. It's good, isn't it? What you say? Say it again. Face mask. Face mask. A face mask. Are you going proper diving today? Yeah. The pool's deeper. He's got his mask. We've got a Mosasaurus. Is it good? Is it good? Yeah. And I think it's that time of day. It's time to visit our dream tours. So the sun is out. The weather's beautiful. A look in the mirrors, we've got the convoy of bikes behind and today we are taking all our worries away and we are going to relax to Church Stretton in the Shropshire Hills. So sit back guys and enjoy.
so that's it guys that's me done for this morning hope you enjoyed the little visit to church stretton it's a fantastic day that was and it's only up the road so we've kind of agreed on the very first day when the lockdown is well not the very first day but the very first time we go out when the lockdown is released is we're all going to get out to church stretton it's a great little ride up there fantastic views so i'll see you in a few hours enjoy your day in your 20 degrees sun ciao for now there we go another day done it's nice to come out to the blazing sun so i've done a little bit of research today with regards to my back pain which I was thinking it was sciatica but from what I've read I've read of something I've not heard of before called oh, what was it piriformis piriformis I think it's called which is a muscle from the back bottom of the spine that comes round across to the outside of the hip in other words it runs kind of inside your buttock now that's the area I'm getting the pain when I'm sitting down is in the buttock area down the back of the leg so I think it is that which is, is that whatever that muscle's called piriformis piriformis something like that so you never know it might be that one I've got grief with oh you decided to go slow now do you yeah Oh, you messed that up, didn't you? I'll teach you to come fly around the island. Donkey. So I just want to give a little mention to MLC Motorcycling, which is a brand new channel. Midlife Crisis Motorcycling. Uh, it's a guy quite close to where I live. I think there's three or four of them. They're quite new to motorcycling. I think they're only about a year in the seat. They've just started up the channel, but they just put up their first full-length motor vlog video. So they've got the self a camera and a mic. There's only the one guy at the moment um, who was on there talking and out on his bike. So I'm not sure whether they are all going to have microphones and cameras. I don't know, but it's nice to see a brand new channel being born and to offer them support. Always offer support never look down on people so MLC motorcycling it was a brilliant video mate I really enjoyed it last night I thought it was really good your audio was nice and clean your camera angle was good your background music you had was nice and fitted so nice job mate and once this is all done and over we'd have to catch up and go out for the ride being local to us so go check him out guys I'll pull a link up or yeah, now it works, something like that, on this video. But go and show them some love. Even you other motor vloggers out there, show support to the new. So that's it for today, guys. We'll see you all on the next video. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the few little trips out we did. Google Earth Studio, Church Stretton, B&Q and a bit of snorkeling. So until the next one guys, be safe, stay safe, and if you're on your bike, ride safe. Oh, sunshine, my friend. We shall meet again, hopefully, one day, whilst riding round a mountain. There we go, we are done. <laughs>